what is true greatness greatness doesn't consist in the number of bank accounts a person has it doesn't consist in an individual's wealth or the number of houses he has in different parts of the world it doesn't consist in the number of zeros and commas in a person's salary greatness doesn't consist in the number of cars parked in his garage it is not defined by the title next to his name greatness doesn't consist in the number of awards he has received or the number of people under him greatness has nothing to do with pedigree it has nothing to do with location color of the skin race or physical appearance and it has nothing to do with being male or female and of course you know that greatness cannot be inherited because it doesn't have a genetic code greatness is conquest of self and going out in service greatness is finding a need and meeting that need greatness is responding to your inner ability and locating the treasure from within and sharing it with those in need greatness is characterized by persistence in all that is right and good it is characterized by generosity to the weak and the poor stephen r covey in his book the eighth habit from effectiveness to greatness wrote about primary and secondary greatness he stated the secondary greatness involved position wealth talent and popularity whereas primary greatness is about service about self contribution respect for all people moral authority servant leadership and sacrifice kobe speaks of the need to live to learn to love and to leave a legacy the people who have made greatest difference in the world understand the significance of adding value to others To quote the words of Albert Schweitzer, I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I do know: the ones among you who will be really great are those who have sought and found how to serve. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter twenty, verse twenty-six, Jesus told his disciples, "Whoever wants to be great among you." must be your servant on holy thursday before the last supper jesus washed the feet of his disciples the washing was done either by a slave or a servant jesus played the role of a servant and washed the feet of his disciples then he said do you understand what i have done i your lord and teacher have washed your feet so you also should wash one another's feet i have given you an example you should do as i have done for you napoleon made himself master of france and most of europe by the power of his armies but louis pasteur made himself the servant of france and the world in fighting the germs of a disease Mussolini dominated Italy for a decade and was dishonored. Signor Marconi put his electrical wizardry at the service of his nation and is still honored in the world's hall of fame. The communists went to Congo to divide and dominate while Albert Schweitzer devoted his life to healing the natives of Africa. In the words of Thomas Carlyle Scottish historian and essayist The history of the world is but the biography of great men and women Consider Nobel prize winners such as Nelson Mandela Albert Schweitzer Mother Teresa Kailash Satyarthi These people were less interested in their positions or possessions than in their contributions to others study their lives and you will notice that they wanted to make things better for others 
They did not consider their service as a task or a job, but as a divine calling. By doing so, they made their lives and others' lives worth living. Through their lives, they added value to others' lives.